let's go into this. So this is where we download all the packages that got the source code that we're going to compile. And the first thing to do is to create a location for these sources and change the ownership of that directory so that it becomes what they call sticky, which means that only the person that created the files can delete them and we'll change into that directory as well. And I'll also, while I'm here, copy, just for completeness, the uh, Gen2, no, not that one, home. I'll copy the um, version check script, although we don't need it anymore, it's just complete for completeness. I'll copy that into the uh, directory here. So that's now there for the duration of the build, if we ever need to check something, for example. So to download them, they've got a couple of files here. One file has got the URLs for every single package, and they use that not only as uh, an indication of the source of the packages, but also they use it as a steering file to fetch, um, uh, to, to steer wget to download those. And also there's an MD sums file, which has got a list of signatures for uh, all of those packages, which we can run afterwards to ensure that A, none of them have been skipped or missed because they weren't available. And perhaps even more importantly, the fact that they have been downloaded correctly or they've been corrupted on, on the download. So we'll fetch both of these first of all. So just right click that and do copy link, type in wget, center click that and copy link for the MD5 sums as well. And paste that in and that will fetch, fetch those two files. So if we look at those uh, MD5, oh let's look at the wget list first. So as you can see there's a list of URLs um, directly to each individual package. And likewise, the MD5 sums is a list of each one of those packages with the signature for that package. So all we need to do to fetch these is to run this command here. And wait for that to complete, which will take a couple of minutes.
Okay, so that's all downloaded. So we need to verify that everything came down as expected by putting these three commands in. So let's do the first one. In fact, we don't need to do this because we are that command. We are already in that directory where we downloaded them. Yep, that all downloaded correctly. So let's just do the pop D to make sure the stack's empty. And that's OK. So we've got all the packages we need. Just need to change the ownership to root as mentioned in the book. And move on. And there's just a list of all the packages with the download locations and the home pages plus the MD5 checksums. Um, which are in that MD5 sum file. And there's the required packages to build Linux from scratch 